is that our mathematical investigations are suggesting that what we have thought to be everything may actually be a tiny part of a much grander cosmos. Einstein is the greatest example, right? He wrote down his equations of the general theory of relativity way back in 1915. It was the year 1952, the city of Dublin. Erwin Schrödinger delivered a lecture with an unusual message. He warned his audience that what he was about to say might sound crazy. He said that when he looked at his mathematical equations, they seemed to describe not just one history, but many different ones happening all at once. It's like multiple stories unfolding at the same time. This idea of multiple possibilities happening together is called superposition, and it's a tricky concept to understand. Our brains have evolved to deal with everyday life, not the strange world of quantum mechanics and vast cosmic events. So, Schrodinger was telling his audience that the mysteries of the universe can be quite perplexing and beyond our everyday intuition. In today's episode, we are diving into the sheer possibility of existence of multiverse. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn the mystery of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. The concept of the multiverse is a theoretical idea that suggests the existence of many different universes. These universes, when combined, make up everything that exists, including space, time, matter, energy, information, and the laws of physics that govern them. These various universes within the multiverse are often referred to as parallel universes, alternate universes, or many worlds. In popular culture, they are known by various names like parallel dimensions and quantum realities. Within the scientific community, there has been ongoing debate about whether these other universes actually exist alongside our own. Some physicists argue that discussing the multiverse is not a valid scientific inquiry because it cannot be tested through experiments, which is a fundamental part of the scientific method. Nobel laureate Steve Weinberg even suggested that if the multiverse were real, it would make it impossible to explain why certain physical constants in our universe have the values they do. The idea of the multiverse implies that there could be universes where the laws of physics are so different that they don't allow the formation of stars or other elements essential for life. This notion challenges our understanding of the cosmos. Some researchers claim to have found evidence of universe collisions in the past, but subsequent analysis using advanced instruments like the Planck satellite did not confirm these findings. There is no substantial proof of other universes exerting gravitational effects on our own. The concept of the multiverse has its roots in the development of quantum mechanics in the 1920s. Quantum mechanics deals with the behavior of particles at extremely small scales, where precise predictions are impossible and only statistical descriptions are feasible. This quantum world needs to be reconciled with the physics of the large-scale universe described by Einstein's general theory of relativity, especially when considering the universe's early moments where both quantum mechanics and general relativity play a role. When we apply the principles of quantum mechanics to the very fabric of space itself, something intriguing happens. At that minuscule scale, we witness a sort of bubbling or disturbance in the fabric of space-time. This phenomenon has even been dubbed quantum foam. As we delve deeper into this foam using the laws of quantum mechanics, we come to realize that this fabric isn't confined to a single realm. In fact, there exist regions within this fabric that could potentially give rise to entire universes with variations in the laws of physics. This diversity in physical laws arises from the varying conditions that led to their formation. Thus, the concept of the multiverse isn't a mere invention. It emerges naturally from the application of quantum mechanics to general relativity. Distinguished scientists like Max Tegmark and Brian Greene have developed classification systems to categorize the theoretical types of multiverses and universes that may exist. Tegmark, for instance, has proposed a taxonomy with four levels of universes beyond our familiar observable universe. Level 1 represents an extension of our universe an outgrowth of the prediction of cosmic inflation. 
This level suggests the existence of an infinite ergotic universe, containing countless Hubble volumes, each with distinct initial conditions. Level 2 encompasses universes with different physical constants. In the theory of internal inflation, the entire multiverse or space continues to stretch eternally, but some regions cease stretching, forming separate bubbles that represent embryonic level 1 multiverses. Level 3 corresponds to the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. Here, quantum mechanics dictates that certain observations cannot be precisely predicted. Instead, a range of potential observations exists, each with its own probability. According to the many worlds interpretation, each of these potential observations corresponds to a different universe. Level 4, the ultimate ensemble, is Tegmark's own hypothesis. In this view, all universes are considered equally real and are described by different mathematical structures. Tegmark argues that mathematics is so versatile that any conceivable parallel universe theory can be encompassed at this level, thereby providing a comprehensive framework for all multiverses. Tegmark's hierarchy of multiverses reaches its conclusion with level 4, as there is no level 5. On a related note, American theoretical physicist Brian Greene has discussed nine types of multiverses in his work. The Quilted Multiverse. In this concept, the universe is infinite and extends infinitely in all directions. As a result, there are regions far away from us where events and conditions may differ significantly from what we observe in our observable universe. The Inflationary Multiverse. This theory suggests that our universe underwent a rapid inflationary phase in its early history. During this inflation, different regions of space could have stopped inflating at different times, leading to the formation of bubble universes with varying physical properties. The Brain Multiverse This idea arises from string theory, where our universe is like a three-dimensional brain embedded in a higher-dimensional space. Other brains could exist alongside our universe, each representing its own universe with distinct physical laws. The Landscape Multiverse According to this concept, there is a vast landscape of different possible vacuum states in the universe. Each of these states corresponds to a universe with its own set of physical constants. Our universe is just one of many possible configurations. The Quantum Multiverse Many Worlds Based on the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, every quantum event that has multiple possible outcomes results in the creation of multiple universes, each corresponding to a different outcome. The holographic multiverse. This idea is connected to the concept of holography in physics. It suggests that all the information in our universe may be encoded on a two-dimensional surface and other universes could exist as holographic projections. The simulated multiverse. In this theory, our universe is a computer simulation created by a more advanced civilization. If this is the case, then other simulated universes could exist alongside ours. The Ultimate Multiverse This concept posits that all possible universes and multiverse theories are equally valid and part of a grand, ultimate ensemble. It embraces the idea that everything that can exist does exist in some form. The Omniverse this is the most comprehensive and speculative idea, suggesting that all possible types of universes and multiverses, as well as different dimensions and realms, collectively form an all-encompassing structure known as the Omniverse. These concepts are theoretical and speculative in nature, and they explore the fascinating possibilities of the universe beyond what we can directly observe. It's important to note that these ideas are still subjects of debate and exploration in the field of theoretical physics.